Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, breaking news. Um, I did not expect this to be announced um, today, especially with um, with what came out just a little bit ago on them not kind of them not really unlikely reaching a deal. Today. So, the fact that this came out is shocking, and I'm happy that this is over and that the writers and the studios are finally coming to an agreement and the studios are listening to the writers that is this is amazing so the strike is now officially over congratulations to everyone in uh in the writers union for standing their ground for these past 140 something days prove making up making their point known and their reasons and their them let them really let the studios know that yeah you're not really paying us that well congratulations to them for standing their ground and for letting the studios know we will not be given scraps we will be paid what we were promised and what we should be paid so absolutely amazing i'm glad that these strikes are over well the writer strike is over sag the sag strike is most likely going to end really shortly as well now because of this so this is great I'm happy that the writers are going to be getting the proper payment they deserve. The offer that the AMPTP offered them most likely is one that they're, that everyone's going to like. So very happy with that. Now let's get in this article and see what exactly it says here. Uh, so it says here on the Hollywood Reporter that after several long consecutive days of negotiations, the Writers Guild of America and the labor group rep representing studios and streamers have reached a tentative a tentative deal on a new contract in a major development that could pre that could precipitate the end of a historic 146 day writer strike. The Writers Guild of America emailed uh, strike captions captains the news on Sunday night, and shortly after, its negotiating committee informed members we have reached a tentative agreement on a new 2023 MBA which is to say an agreement in principle on all deal points subject to drafting final contract language. The message start, The message stated, uh, we can say with great pride that this deal is exceptional with meaningful gains and protections for writers in every sector of the membership. The Hollywood Reporter has reached out to the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers for comment. The parties came to terms on a provisional three-year agreement, which will need to be ratified by WGA members to take effect. On Sunday, after studios responded to last-minute union asks that day, specifics of the deal affecting around 11,500 WGA members weren't available as of press time, though they will undoubtedly emerge in the next few days as the union seeks to sell its members on the pact. During the final weekend of negotiations, lawyers huddled before the studios presented their alleged best and final offer on Saturday night. Later that same night, the AMPTP and the WGA issued a joint statement that they would be meeting again on Sunday. And indeed, despite the supposed f uh, finality of the studio's previous proposal, the union returned to their bargaining counterparts on Sunday afternoon with some additional asks before the sides ultimately wrapped up the negotiations. The mood among writers on Friday's packed picket lines was one of cautious optimism, as union members anticipated that the end of the historic work stoppage might be soon. The fact that they've been talking for three days straight is terrific, showrunner Mark uh, Guggenheim uh, from Legends of Tomorrow told The Hollywood Reporter at Disney Studio Side so, uh, Hollywood Reporter at Disney. Uh, studio side sources familiar with the progress in the room also projected positivity over the past several days as management management made moves on issues including AI, TV staffing, and res residual compensation tied to streaming show performance. Um, that buoyant mood dipped on Thursday night when studio sources claimed the WGA came back late in the night with new asks on items that management believed to be already closed, but returned Friday as the sides nailed down. Uh, compromises. The momentum in talks over the course of the past week was a welcome change in pace from the month-long standstill in negotiations that occurred after a meeting between WGA leaders and several CEOs plus AMPTP President Carol um, Lombardini in late August, which ended in mutual recri uh, recrimination. Uh, the AMPTP released its August 11th offer publicly, and the WGA slammed the meetup, saying its leaders were met with a lecture about how good their single and only counteroffer was.
The pause in talks was lifted on September 14th when the AMPTP announced that the WGA had reached out to resume negotiations and both sides were working on scheduling in the following week. At day 146 of the ongoing WGA strike, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the work stoppage was closing in on being the longest in the union's history. The current record was set in 1988 when the WGA struck Hollywood companies for 154 days. Though still tentative in nature, the agreement is a momentous um, development for an industry that has been hobbled by the double uh, WGA and SAG after strikes, the first time both have occurred at one in over 60 years. The WGA strike had an immediate impact. Filming in Los Angeles declined 29% between April and June of 2023, compared with the same period last year as the writer's work stoppage began May 2nd. Local Office Film LA reported on April 19th, a wide array of major projects were halted in on or halted in uh, their tracks and or postponed, including Netflix's Stranger Things, Apple TV's The Loot, Marvel's Blade 2, and Thunderbolts, and others. When SAG AFTRA joined the stoppage on a number of additional projects, including Venom 3, Gladiator 2, and Deadpool 3, followed. A tentative agreement does not eradicate the potential for the strike to continue. Sadly, that is true. But I don't think this is going to continue. If they really like made a deal and they really are agreeing on this deal, I really think that the strike is going to end. Like I really don't think this strike is like going to continue. I think the strike is going to end, and especially after like the WGA agreeing to this. Um, as WGA members could still reject the deal in an upcoming ratification vote, the stakes and expectations are high given how long the work stoppage has gone on so far. However, in the, in the coming days, the WGA leadership will undoubtedly work hard to persuade their members of the deal's meritus. Negotiations for the agreement began on March 20th and broke off the night of May 1st, resulting in a strike the next day. The two parties reunited again on August 11th, reached a standstill in late August, but resumed on September 20th and concluded their negotiations on, the, on September 23rd. The writers have been advocating for great compensation in the streaming era, through higher wage flow floors, regulations of mini rooms, and residuals tied to the performance of their shows. Meanwhile, studios and streamers who have been feeling pressure to cut costs after Wall Street turned on uh, unprofitable streaming operations in 2022 and amid an uncertain economic climate were seeking to rein in the spending on labor, it remains to be seen how both sides managed to reach a compromise that could satisfy their um, uh, their con constituents. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that word. Um, the writers were led in their negotiations by WGA West Assistant Executive Director Ellen Stutzman, who stepped up to the plate after the Western branch of the union's executive director, David Young, went on medical leave prior to the start of talks. Carol Lom uh, Lombardney, the AMPTP's chief negotiator since 2009, led the talks for producers. Now it's up to the WGA's members to, de to determine whether the deal satisfies the workplace issues that their peers have been raising for months. All eyes are on the union's ratification vote for the deal, whose date has not yet been announced. All right, so that's it for this article. Um, really good. Really, really good. I am really happy that both sides were able to come to an agreement. With the WGA and the, and the AMPTP were able to make an agreement. And... Um, what I really want to know, though, is, and we're probably going to find out about this, how much damage did this cause? Now, I, now, listen, granted, I 100% support, I've, all, I've supported the writer strike since day one because I think that they deserve to be paid, paid um, the amount that they were promised. They don't deserve to be paid less. They deserve to be paid the amount that they were promised. They don't deserve to be given scraps. They deserve to be paid the amount that they were promised, that is. Um... Especially when they're working overtime, yeah, the, yeah, you got to pay them a lot more. And the fact that uh, that they weren't getting paid that much is really like greedy and really messed up of Hollywood. <laughs> but um, really happy about this. But even though I support this, though, I am kind of curious, and I'm and I really do want to know how much damage did this cause? Like how much? how much money did Hollywood lose from this? Like how much, like just how much damage did this cause is what I want to know because it's like, it's going to take a while to get everything back up and running when it comes to like projects, movies and shows.
that got delayed ever since the writer strike first happened. And then when the SAG strike went down, everything was totally delayed. Then now I want to know like, what's going to happen with all of these movies and shows that have not even, who, who haven't been, that haven't been written yet when it comes to scripts and when it comes to um, movies or shows that have that were originally going to be shot. But then when then the SAG strike went down and they had to cease, cease doing any filming or shooting for, and for a bunch of these shows and movies. So who knows what's going to happen, man? Who knows how much like damage that, that these strikes are going to have, or how much damage these strikes um, are going to have like, how, how, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm yeah, kind of like stuttering or just not making a lot of sense or just kind of just not yeah, speaking eloquent, eloquent, eloquently that well. Uh, so I do apologize, but yeah, I'm still shocked by this. The fact that they actually came to an agreement. I'm glad they did. And I'm happy that, that we're going to get back to making great content and um, the writers are going to be treated right. They're going to be treated fairly. They're going to be paid the amount they were promised. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy for them. But again, man, I, I'm really curious. Like how much, like how much, like damage did this do? Like, well, I don't know. Like, we're, we're entering the aftermath phase, and I don't know what we're what we're going to be uh, hearing when it comes to like what, like what, how much damage this caused. So, um, that's all I got to say about this, though. Um, again, I'm happy that the Writers Guild um, was able to reach a deal with the studios, and um, yeah, man, we're gonna get back get back on track to having great content. So, very happy um, that this is over. Well, that for now, anyway, this is over. Who knows if this is gonna resume or not? Hopefully, it doesn't. Um, but so, shouts to the writers. Um, I'm happy that uh, that y'all were able to make the studios listen. And um, yeah, in the meantime, though. Post comments down below, though. Let me know you guys think about this, though. Um, are is this truly the end of the of the of these of the writer strike, and then soon after, most likely the end of the SAG strike as well? Um, do you let me know. I am curious what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Do you think this is over, or do you think that uh, this is just over for now, and that this could resume somewhere down the road? Do let me know. I am curious what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, and if you guys know anyone that's a fan of a, that's a fan of um, <laughs> that's a fan of um, everything. Uh, then when it comes to movies and shows, um, when it comes to DC, Marvel, um, Star Wars, Mortal Kombat, um, as that that all is basically that counts as to why I am talking about this. Um, then you should send this video over to them because they might have been watching this. And also, come follow me over on Twitter and Vero. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, until then, though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye.